are necessary for, for our life and for our salvation. And so that we may prepare ourselves in heart and mind to worship him, let us kneel in silence and with penitent and obedient hearts, confess our sins, that we may obtain forgiveness by his infinite goodness and mercy. Most merciful oh God, God, we confess our sins and we entreat you, and thy glory in thee, my only and none, my only and none, and none. We have not loved you with our whole heart, we have not loved you with our days as ourselves, we are truly sorry and we humbly repent for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ. Have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may have life in your world and walk in your ways. To the glory of your name. Amen. Mighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now. And will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. Come, let, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the God of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout again with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and the great King of all our gods. In his hands are the gathers of the earth. The highs of the hills they tell us so. The sea of spirits will be made in, and the sand is involved in the dry land. Come, let us bow down and make your knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker, who he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today we will love unto his voice. <laughs> Lord is King, let the earth so rejoice. 97, 99, 99, 99, page 726. The Lord is King, let the earth rejoice, let the multitude of God be glad, to us in darkness and land of darkness. Righteousness and justice and salvation to the strong boy. The fire goes before him and murders up his enemies on every side. He is like his life of the world. He ever sees it and is afraid. He minds us not like wax at the presence of the Lord, but the presence of the Lord of the whole earth. The heavens declare his righteousness, and all the people see his glory. The boundary of the all who worship out of images and the light of false gods. Call down before him all you gods. Zion hears and is glad. He sees you and you shall be rejoiced because of your judgments of the Lord. For you are the world with false not high above all on earth. You are exalted to God above all on gods. The Lord loves those who hate evil. He preserves the lives of his saints and delivers them from and of the wicked, life is one of the righteous, and joyful gladness to those who are true hearted. Rejoice in the Lord, you righteous, and give thanks to his holy name. The Lord is king, and let the people tremble. He is enthroned upon the cherubim, let the earth shake. The Lord is great as I am, he is high above all kings. Let them confess his name. Great and awesome, he is the Holy One, Almighty King, Lover of Justice. You have established equity. You have executed justice and righteousness in Jacob. Proclaim the greatness of the Lord our God and fall down before his footstool. He is the Holy One. Moses and Aaron among his priests, and Samuel among those who call upon his name. They call upon the Lord. Answer them. He spoke to them all that we were on the house. And he kept his testimonies and the decrees of the king of Jacob. The Lord our God answered them indeed. You were God to the great man. You have come to them to make me pleased. Proclaim the greatness of the Lord our God and worship him upon the holy hill. For the Lord our God is the Holy One. Glory to the Father. The Son, the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. <coughs> A reading from the book of Isaiah, chapter 63. I will recount the gracious deeds of the Lord, the praiseworthy acts of the Lord, because of all that the Lord has done for us, and the great favor of the house of Israel, that he has shown them according to his mercy, according to the abundance of his steadfast love. For he said, Surely they are my people, children who will not deal falsely. And he became their savior in all their distress. It was no messenger or angel, but his presence that saved them. In his love and in his pity, he redeemed them. He lifted them up and carried them all the days of old. But they rebelled and grieved his Holy Spirit. Therefore he became their enemy, and he himself fought against them. Then they remembered the days of old, of Moses his servant, where he is the one who brought them up out of the sea with the shepherds of his flock, where this is the one who put within them his Holy Spirit, who caused his glorious arm to march at the right hand of the Moses, who divided the waters before them to make for himself an everlasting name, who, will, who led them through the depth like a horse in a desert. They did not stumble, like cattle that go down into the valley, the Spirit of the Lord gave them rest. Thus you led your people to make for yourself a glorious name. The Word of the Lord. Praise be to God. Glory to you, Lord God of our fathers. You are worthy of praise. Glory to you. Glory to you, great praise in your own name. We praise you and honor and exalt you forever. Glory to you in the splendor of your temple, on the throne of your majesty. Glory to you. Glory to you, seated in the king of cherubim. We will praise you and honor and exalt you forever. Glory to you, behold in the depths. The high halls of heaven, glory to you. Glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We will praise you and kindly exalt you forever. A reading from the Gospel according to Mark, the 11th chapter. On the following day, when they came from Bethany, Jesus was hungry. Seeing in the distance a fig tree in leaf, he went to see whether perhaps he would find anything on it. When he came to it, he found nothing but leaves, for it was not the season for figs. He said to it, May no one ever eat fruit from you again. And his disciples heard it. Then they came to Jerusalem, and he entered the temple and began to drive out those who were selling and those who were buying in the temple. And he overturned the tables of the money changers and the seats of those who sold doves. And he would not allow anyone to carry anything through the temple. He was teaching and saying, It is not written, My house shall be a house of prayer for all nations but you have made it a den of robbers and when the chief priests and scribes heard it they kept looking for a way to kill him for they were afraid of him because the whole crowd was spellbound by his teaching and when evening came jesus and his disciples went out of the city in the morning, as they passed by, they saw the fig tree wither the way to its roots. Then Peter remembered and said to him, Rabbi, look, the fig tree that you cursed has withered. Jesus answered, Have faith in God. Truly I tell you, if you say to this mountain, Be taken up and be thrown into the sea, 
And if you do not doubt in your heart, but believe that what you say will come to pass, it will be done for you. So I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. Whenever you stand praying, forgive if you have anything against anyone so that your Father in heaven may also forgive you your trespasses. The word of the Lord. Thank you, God. Splendor and honor and kingdom power are yours by right, O Lord our God. For you created everything that is, and by you will it ever be created and it has been here. And yours by right, O land that was slain. O wisdom of God, from your beginning, O God, from every family, language, people, and nation, and kingdom of priests to set up all out. And so to him who sits upon the throne, and to Christ the Lamb, be worship and praise, dominions and splendor, forever and evermore. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, the only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, who was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again, he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. We are and uphold them and our laws. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. Lord, we will not trust in you. And you, Lord, is our hope. And we shall never trust in vain. Almighty and everlasting God, by the power of the Holy Spirit, you moved your servant Cyril and his brother Methodius to bring the light of the gospel to a hostile and divided people. Overcome all bitterness and strife among us by the love of Christ, and make us one united family under the banner of the Prince of Peace, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose Spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, receive our supplications and prayers which we offer before you for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry they may truly and divinely serve you through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. We pray that the church would be one holy, Catholic, and apostolic. We pray for the conversion and renewal of the church. Pray God's blessing on Lent. There would be a time of deep conversion and renewal for the church. We pray for the Anglican Communion, for the Diocese of Northern Philippines, for the Episcopal Church. We pray for the Diocese of West Tennessee, our Bishop Phoebe, Ken, and Sharon, for all our parishes and missions and those who lead them, particularly this day, St. George's Church in Germantown. We pray for our outreach partners and those whom they serve. We pray that God would keep them faithful to their mission and ministries. And we lift especially this day the Neighborhood Christian Center. 
We ask God's guidance of St. Andrews, consecrate us in holiness, and grant that our prayer, work, and study would glorify you and transform us. We pray for all our outreach partners, those whom they serve. We pray for those who come to us in need each day. We pray for those who find today a difficult time because of loss of loved ones or loneliness. We pray that your love uh, would pour out into the world this day. Uh, we pray for the hungry, the poor, the needy, for those addicted, addicted to drugs and alcohol, uh, for those who are in broken relationships. We pray, Lord God, uh, for your name to be glorified among us this day. We pray now for your needs and concerns. God, Father of all mercies, we are servants of you on the lands. For all your goodness and loving kindness, draw us and draw from you and make it. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life. For the love of all you that are your love, and the redemption of the Lord and all of Jesus Christ, and the needs and grace of the whole world. We have made you with such limits of your mercies that we truly feel in our hearts that you may show forth your grace, not only with our lips but in our eyes, and by giving of ourselves to your service, and by all the glory of you, all holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives with you and the Holy Spirit, the honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let's bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.